Cocock Whiskey is a proud sponsor of Music Hour with Nathan Smith. This is Music Hour with Nathan Smith, and we are here with... Billy Alexander. And what do you do? I am the stage manager of Aftershock here in Merriam, Kansas. And if you guys don't know what Aftershock is, uh, that's where most of season two was recorded at. Yeah, a couple of those. And um, how'd you get into your now job? Oh, man, that's it. Good question. I wonder the same thing myself quite a lot. Nice. A, a while back, you know, I was coming to see, I saw a couple of shows here before I started working here. Then a uh, band came through I really enjoyed, Nonpoint. Mm. And they get, I got here before they did. They pulled their bus in, see a group of guys running to go and load the equipment. So I was like, hey, I'm going to try to just sneak in and be one of them. And three years later, Hey, I run most of the shows here now. So, yeah, it's a giant blur, but... It can be. <laughs> um, do you do anything outside your job musically-wise? I play drums, yep. so... Is, everything I do is just music. There's so. nothing wrong with that. <laughs> uh, who are your musical inspirations? Uh, probably the two biggest has to be Chevelle and Deftones by far okay uh, describe yourself in one word music <laughs> <laughs> musician music mm -hmm. um, if you could meet anybody alive or dead who would it be <sighs> alive or dead <clears throat> man I would probably have to say we should probably come back to that one. <laughs> it's throwing me on the spot like that, huh? <laughs> Alive uh, or dead? All right. I'd probably have to say Stevie Ray Vaughan. Nice. I grew up a big blues fan, and yeah. he was one of the biggest artists I used to listen to. Okay. Um, tell me what quote this movie is from. I was the editor of a school magazine. Shit. I know it. I know it. Who's the man? Let me. Let me. Uh, is that the actual yeah. title? Okay. Because who would who would win in a fight, Lemmy or God? Trick question. Lemmy is God. God from Airheads. There we go. That's one of my top favorite movies right there. Airheads and Rockstar. Okay. Uh, for uh, bands out there, you know, bands always like that, you know, to uh, get out to those people that can help them. Uh, can bands reach out to you? Yeah. All, all the bands that are looking to find a venue in Kansas City, reach out to me. I can put them in touch with whoever they need to be touched with. So, <laughs> As long as he gets to touch you while the process is going up. I'll put them in touch with the right people, with our promoter here, Strackays, or anyone. So, And people that don't know Billy, Billy was actually on a uh, piece that we did, which was... When I dolls VIP all access. Oh, the last tour, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I got a question for you, and I'm gonna put you on the spot. Why did Kimberly refer to you as the stink, stinky guy on tour? <laughs> yeah, that's a question for her, man. <coughs> I have no comment. <laughs> I had to bring that up because that uh, was basically funny. I was the only one. I, and there's that tater tots. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, the whole tater, the tater tot thing was uh, the lighting guy for one eye doll, Eric. His wife <laughs> used to refer to his nipples as tots. Yeah. So we'd give him shit for that all the time. And usually, for me, my thing was, oh, I'd wake up with the same clothes from the last day, from the previous day, go do my shit. You know, then not change the next day. Are you Captain Caveman's long lost son? No. 
<laughs> and in fact, oh, one can hope. One can hope. Captain Guy Man. Um, for people to uh, get a hold of you, how can they get a hold of you? Facebook, Billy Alexander, I'm you'll. Grabbing. <laughs> You can find me on Facebook, Billy Alexander. Uh, you'll see my profile with my about me with Aftershock, or I also work at Riot Room in Midland Theater downtown. Also, a good place. Work at Sandstone in the summer, so. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. So, it, it, I'm not hard to find at all. If you really want to find me to try to put a show together, together you'll find me. So. And what do you want our viewers to know about you? Nothing. Dude. <laughs> Thank you for Nothing being on the show. Yeah.